Hi, I'm Ryan Payne with Garage Grooves, and today I have a tech tip for you on burnishing in brake pads on Tesla Model 3s or Tesla Model Ys. If you think about how the braking system operates on these vehicles, a lot of the braking is done through regeneration. So when you do a brake parts replacement on these things, it could take a good long while to get those brake parts burnished in. Tesla does a really good job through the service mode menu to allow you to completely turn off that regeneration so that you can get the brake pads burnished in much more quickly. Let's get inside and show you how to get it into that mode. All right, we're inside our 2019 Tesla Model 3 here, and let's get this thing actually into service mode. Uh, that way we can access this burnishing procedure. Very, very interesting how this works. We put our service passcode in there, pop up our first warning menu, says make sure you're doing it for the correct reasons. This is the main menu that pops up when we get into service mode. You see I got a brake burnishing tab right there. Click on brake burnishing, and it's going to tell us that when we go into this mode, this vehicle will disable the regenerative motor torque. It'll be set to zero to aid in our burnishing procedure. Uh, that way we don't have to, it doesn't have to take quite as long because we're not fighting our, our motor regen. All right, so we'll hit enable, and it pops up this very nice menu here uh, that tells, it, I, it tells you you want to get to 50 miles an hour, you want to run through 10 cycles, and it actually gives you this nice little bar graph here um, to make sure you're not using too much brake pressure. I can actually press the brake pedal slightly, and you can see you want it in that range from 50 miles an hour. Once you get there, it will run through a 15 second cool down period, and then you go again. Once you walk through this, through all these instructions here, then you can be assured that your burnishing procedure is complete. Now all we'd have to do, put it in park, exit our service mode, and the vehicle's ready to go back to the customer. So hopefully you'll find this tech tip useful in the future for any Model 3 or Model Y brake jobs you may run across. For more tech tips like this, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and hit subscribe as well. For more information about Garage Gurus, find us at garagegurus.tech. My name is Ryan Payne. Hope to see you next time.